Hey, my rising phoenix. Welcome to Phoenix Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. Okay, phoenix rising. So what we're going to do is tap into this daily energy. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Messages of love and light. Ooh. Try to shuffle these the right way. Let's go around. Messages of love and light. What is the energy for our phoenix today? What's the energy for our phoenix today? Messages of love and light. Anything we should look after, what we should be dealing with today. Messages of love and light. Okay. Well, so Scorpio, two cards popped out. The first card is the death card. Death and rebirth. So basically today and around our energy, I'm going to say 24, 48 hours, we are dealing with ending a situation. Um, I feel like we're we're in our head about either really leaving a situation behind or we're trying to debate on if we should, if this is dealing with a job, we're, de we're, we're thinking about, okay, should we just forget this whole idea? Should we just forget this? this whole thing if it's dealing with a relationship it's like do i want to just throw the whole man away do i want to just throw the whole woman away you hear me because <laughs> i feel like that it was something in the past uh dealing with a particular situation that it, it, it's like at first you had high hopes for it at first you felt that it could be something that can grow and it's like something happened to where it altered that and it's like i don't even know if i want to put up with this anymore so right now i feel like uh Scorpios, we're going to this thing, and, and it has something to deal with foundation. Um, I feel like in the past, this was a situation where you felt you could have built built from it. Like, you could have had a family dynamic. Like, this would have been two bosses getting together, making a kingdom. You know what I'm saying? That type of energy. And I feel like something happened either with you or on the other party where you just realized, maybe this is not going to work, you know? Because a lot of times we find ourselves giving, putting more energy into situations than somebody else is. And it's like, if we're going in this partnership type of uh, ordeal, you're really not somebody I want to be partnered with. You know, after we realize, saw the red flags, after we, you know, start, not start uh, hardening our heart and using logic with the information that was being presented to us. So I feel like today and the energy, it's really us solidifying within ourselves is a particular situation, something that we really want to just leave behind or, or if somebody comes in the right type of energy, will we entertain it? You know? So that's kind of like what it is because I feel that, uh, you kind of up in the air with this and then the death card, this is our card. So whatever we choose, we will be fine. But I feel like our, whatever we choose will be detrimental to the person that is receiving our last verdict, our judgment. So, and then the, golly, this is all deal around structure. So then we have the emperor. Now, the emperor is this energy because I feel like in the past, somebody was probably working with that ego. Now, mind you, both of these numbers, we got 13 and we got four. So both are dealing with fours, which is like the stability, the foundation is trying to start something from scratch, building it up. I feel like in the past, you had somebody that was in there that was, uh, you were dealing with somebody that was egoic. They were, uh, they always wanted to be in control. And I feel like they were trying to control the situation, not really paying attention to what spirit was trying to tell them about you. See, the thing is, you got, it's, it's a certain type of way you got to handle a phoenix. You feel me? Like you got to handle the phoenix different from you handling regular low vibrational Scorpios because we are different. The, the whole reason why they say evolution evolving is because because we are no longer the same thing we was then. Like we, we hold butterflies out here. We ain't caterpillars. We are not rubbing our bellies on the floor to get from point A to point B. We are flying in the sky. Beautiful colors at that. We amaze people when we pass by. And it's like, you got to watch how you handle us. And I feel like in the past, somebody wasn't watching how they handled you. I felt like they were not listening to spirits. See, this person over here trying to play uh, uh, chess, but you ain't even paying attention to the board. First of all, I'm going to need you to get off the board, off the table, because if you ain't coming to play, it's going to be a problem. You, you, you're lucky when you're playing dominoes of space because uh, you sure would be my partner. And that's kind of like what this is right here. I feel like you had somebody that you feel like you could really play dominoes with somebody that said they was a dominologist that knew how to count up numbers really good, who know the boys, who will put 
pretty much can see what's in other people's hand because, you know, you're just expecting them to be on point. Like, you you say you're a dominologist, show me. And I feel like when it came to showing, their actions came short. And then what they did was they allowed their ego to play a position in the ending that you had to, that you're contemplating on or that you have already considered of already put in your mind. Okay, I'm about to end this. So now I feel like whoever this person is right now, they're trying to regain their power because I feel like you broke down somebody's ego. With this death card, it's like death to ego because you can't mess with a Scorpio. First of all, it, it, it's only going to be a little bit how much we let you play with us. Don't play with us. Play with your kids. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And I feel like this person was ignoring what Spirit was trying to tell them, how to teach them how to handle us, and then they totally ignore it. And now, since you have to put the smack up down, now they looking towards the future, hoping that you come back in. So this is the energy that we're around, sweetheart, today. Today, somebody is trying to see how can they get back in because their ego cashed it, wrote a check that they asked wasn't prepared to cash. Be careful of me. Don't you know what you're doing? Who feelings did you hurt when you're losing? You're going the whole world, but is it worth the deal that you're losing? Be careful of me. Right now, that, that gave me chills. So I feel like right now... You had to you had to show somebody who you were. You had to show somebody the dark side of you because I feel like we love and light, but at the end of the day, Scorpios are the only people that I know that can go through the mud and still come back untouched, unhinged, not a stain on us. And I feel like you had to show this person, sweetheart, be careful of me because I'm not who you think I am. And you're not strong enough to even meet partial of the strength that I have within me. It's a reason why you feel some type of way. It's a reason why why when you met me, you felt intimidated. Because it's the power that you, that my, uh, my aura, pineapples. But it's the truth. And right now, look, this person, we got the four cups. This person is trying, is, is, is looking to wanting to come back in. And uh, and they like, you know what? I don't even think they, the, your person like, Scorpio is not about to fuck with me. Because look. So how I see it is this. You see, this is the death card, right? You've already ended this. So the emperor in the middle. Let me show you how. I Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull it down. Make sure I ain't showing no much of nothing. Sorry, y'all. I ain't trying to show my jibblies. But so how this look right here. You see, this is the death card, right? You ended something because somebody was playing with you. And now this person was ignoring all of this. So that's the reason they, they, they were trying to play chess, but they was not paying attention to what spirit was showing them. You feel me? About you, how not to come to an end, how to get to this beginning. So now, since you done cut stuff off, now they're looking towards the future. But you like, I'm not about to play with you. Look, and you see how you how you ignoring all this? Why? Now you see how these colors matching over here? Yeah, this situation is dead to me. I don't I don't see no future with you no more. Yo, this 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 is this. This is dead. So while you look into the future, it's still death over here. Like <laughs> I don't want you, man. I'm ready for my new new. Look, spirits say I can have whatever I want. And right now, I want something new because you done showed me. And it's crazy because it's so crazy. Because Scorpios, we could love a motherfucker so much. We can give so much loyalty. Let it be this one little thing we can't fuck with. And that'll ruin the whole thing. Throw the whole person away. We don't even want them no more. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. My, my mind made up. I said what I said. Go give me a drink. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, Scorpio. Let me get some uh messages from the love oracle. Messages. Oh, first of all, I just seen the uh the glasses. So somebody is watching you. Messages of love and light, spirit for our beautiful Scorpios. This is daily reading. Okay. We have addiction, codependency, obsession. Your person is obsessed over you. They were codependent on this relationship. To be honest, even if this relationship wasn't that long, the love that you gave them. It's something that they haven't experienced before. And then I feel like this, because they knew you were already a powerful creature. I feel like once you start uh, relinquishing your power, because you start, you know, paying attentive to them, start uh, wanting to make sure they felt comfortable. And when even when it was some stuff like you were like, I could really get in your shit. You was like, you know what? I'm going to keep the peace because we want to be peacemakers. But then this person kind of took it like... It, it was like they were feeding their insecurities off of your energy, Scorpio. And the thing is, if you're going to use my energies, you better use them for good. Because use them for bad, I'm going to take them back and I'm going to show you how bad they can get. And I feel like this person just getting a taste of what of, of, of what really harnessing real power is. Because now, you know, you're you not sweet no more. You don't have that queen of cups energy. No, you want to be in your ego. You want to see me like this. So now, you seeing me like this. 
It ain't pretty, is it? I know it ain't. And then we have Cupid's arrow. Faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation. So I feel like this person right now is trying to rekindle some type of love. This person wants you to forget about whatever they did because they know you changed already. And like I said, fucking with a Scorpio, you you mess up. We ch we we a whole different person the next day. I ain't talking about Gemini. We ain't we like like we don't have two different sides. It's just that we evolved so quickly. Like shoot, I loved you yesterday, but I'm over you today. Yeah, it ain't hurting like it did before, you know. No, it's pretty much over because I done put in my head, this ain't going to work. So now I'm using my logic. So I'm using my logic and not my heart. <laughs> and now you want to use your heart and not your logic. Bro, this is we. This is unbalanced. <laughs> this is an unbalanced situation. And I don't do toxicity. Any negativity, I'm not going to be able to do. I feel like right now this situation is making your person a sin because the thing is it was things that you had... See, Scorpio, when we do not express who, who we truly are, when we don't check people in their ways, then what that does is it sets them up for failure. It's like we're enabling them to continue to act in a way that we know ain't beneficial for them. It ain't going to help their personal growth. And so when we finally walk in our power and let people know how the hell you got to handle us, like you could, you could pick any other person in the world. You can treat them however you want to, but when it comes to me, you better act accordingly. And when you put the smack down, then it made them realize their dark side. It made them realize their insecurities. It made them realize how they fucked this situation up. And the thing is, you can never, ever, 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 ever replace a phoenix. Ever. Who dies and come back to life? Nobody. Unless you're Jesus. Anyway. Last card is girl talk. So right now your person is talking with friends and family, people that they was talking about at first. And, and, and they know you a Scorpio. They know people not going to understand you. Hell, they intrigued by your mysterious yourself. So how you going to go talk to somebody about this magical being creature? And you know they're going to give you wrong information. Because the reason why you was with, with a Scorpio, because you wanted something different. You wanted something real. All right, y'all. This is y'all daily read. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Hit that, that uh that notification button. I love you guys. Love yourself. So just know we are we are in control. You hear me? We are the empresses. We are the emperors. We running this. You feel me?